and Blackwell. For Midwestern State on senior day, the four seniors are in the starting lineup. The only player in the starting lineup who is not a senior is the sophomore guard, Trey Jones, who stands 6'4". He's from here in Wichita Falls, went to Hershey. He'll be in the backcourt along with the 5'11 senior from Missouri City, Elijah Lee, and 6'3 senior guard Darius Thompson out of Memphis, a transfer from Tennessee Martin. Demonte Harris, who had 34 points on Thursday night in the win over Arkansas Fort Smith. He's a 6'5 senior from Pontiac, Michigan. And Ola Iadaly is the man up front. The 6'6 senior hails from London, England. Justin Leslie trying to put together a three-game winning streak for the Mustangs this afternoon. Oklahoma Christian is wearing black jerseys, Oklahoma script. Oklahoma scripted across the chest in white above a white numeral with Christian scripted beneath the number and then a white number on the back of the black jersey. And then you've got maroon and white piping down the side of the black jersey. Midwestern State wearing the home white trimmed in maroon and gold. Midwestern scripted across the chest above a maroon number. And State underneath the number, also a maroon number trimmed in gold on the back. Ola Ayadaly steps into center circle against Will Leonard for the opening tip. The ball is up in the air, and we're underway. Midwestern State has won the tip. Elijah Lee will bring it across half court. Oklahoma Christian sets up a 2-3 zone defensively. Lee on the left wing, pivoting, passes up top to Jones. Chest pass to the right wing for Thompson. It swings it back left to Lee. Bounce pass for Ayadaly. Can't handle it on the left baseline. Loses it out of bounds, and it's Oklahoma Christian basketball. Reyes Valdez will bring it up. Reyes Valdez crosses half court on the left side. Comes right with a right hand dribble. Starts to drive the basket but steps back. Kills the dribble. Lobs it up top for Linhard who passes left for Blackwell. Then it comes between the circles to Johnson. He swings it right to Reyes Valdez. On the right block, Palmer has it. Palmer guarded by Ayadaly. Sends it back out to Reyes Valdez. Palmer backing in, fires it in the lane. That goes off the leg of DeMonte Harris and gets scooped up by Thompson, who drives in for Midwestern State and is fouled going to the basket. It's a foul on the floor called against Aubrey Johnson. The 6'2 senior guard picks up his first personal foul and the first team foul. We've played 52 seconds. Lee inbounds to the left corner for Harris. Out to Thompson. Passes right on the wing for Jones. Jones looks inside, dribbles twice, passes to Thompson on the left wing, to Harris, left of the lane, 15 feet from the basket, moves in, jump stop from the right side, banks in a deuce. DeMonte Harris has his first two points, and it's a 2-0 lead for Midwestern State, and the Mustangs now have had a lead in all 26 games this season. Reyes Valdez has it on the right side of the floor, guarded by Lee, sends it right of the foul circle to Linhard, who drives in with the left hand, misses the shot. Tipped once by Linhard, got a rebound and a putback to tie the game at two. Midwestern with the ball. DeMonte Harris has it beyond the arc on the left side. Out to Jones on the sideline between the circles to Lee. Fires it into Ayadaly. Ayadaly out to the right corner for a Thompson three. That's an air ball caught by Reyes Valdez, who's on the run up the right side. Passes right to the sideline. A Johnson three, no good. Hits the left rim and goes out of bounds. Last touch by Midwestern State. Goes off Darius Thompson. And the Eagles will inbound on the left baseline with 18.03 to play in the half. Inbounded to the left corner. Driving the baseline, putting up a floater. No good is Johnson. Rebounded by Trey Jones. Gets to Lee who moves up the left sideline. Cross court pass to Thompson. Feeds Harris at the top of the arc. Back to Lee, three-pointer, good! Elijah Lee hits a three-pointer from the left wing to give Midwestern State a 5-2 lead with 17.40 to play. We're in the first half at Lincoln Coliseum on Senior Day. Johnson has it at the hash mark on the left side for Oklahoma Christian. No overhead pass to Reyes Valdez, it comes right. One-hand pass to Linhard, it goes back to Reyes Valdez, steps inside the arc. Right angle three is no good, and Ayadaly pulls down the rebound for Midwestern State. Gets it to Elijah Lee, who motors up the left side of the floor. Pitches it off to Thompson, gets it back, and then sends a one-hand pass to Ayadaly, who feeds it down low, and Harris scores. DeMonte Harris on the right side of the basket. 
scores his fourth point. He's got four of the first seven for Midwestern State, and the Mustangs lead by five. We've played three minutes. Between the circles, Blackwell goes left to Johnson and then to Reyes Valdez, who sends a behind-the-back pass to Linhard. His three-pointer is a swish. Seven to five. Midwestern State leads, and Lee hits another three from the right side. Brings it up, calmly nails his second straight three-pointer. And Midwestern State leads 10-5, hitting their last three field goal attempts. They're 4-5 or five from the field to open the game, and they lead by five. Three-pointer for Johnson is long off the heel of the rim. A long rebound goes out to Darius Thompson of Midwestern. He's up the middle of the floor with a left-hand dribble. Feeds Ian Daly at the foul line. No look pass to Harris. Too much steam on that pass. It goes out of bounds over the left baseline. Reyes Valdez will bring it up. Crosses the timeline. Passes right on the wing to Palmer. Palmer to Linhard. To Reyes Valdez. Lob to Palmer on the right block. Backing in on Harris. Puts up a shot. Around and out. No good. Got his own rebound. The putback is no good. It's volleyballed around under the basket. Linhard comes away with it. Out to Reyes Valdez. And, yeah, the official stops play because they didn't put 20 on the shot clock following the offensive rebound. Derek Herrick is going to come into the game along with Jalen Brown for Midwestern State. And they're taking a timeout here. 15.46 to play. 10-5 Midwest. Chita Falls. Midwestern State leads 10-5. Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Bud Light, Market Street, Hamilton Bryant, and Patterson Auto Group. Oklahoma Christian has the ball down by five. Fifteen and a half minutes remaining here in the first half. Johnson has it on the right wing. Passes to Blackwell between the circles. Blackwell dribbles to the left side of the floor. Comes back right. A wraparound dribble to get past Herrick. Then lost the ball. Elijah Lee pulls it down out of the air. Brings it up the middle of the floor with a left-hand dribble. Pushes a left-hand pass to Thompson. Back to Lee. A long three. That's off the front rim. No good. Reyes Valdez rebounds for Oklahoma Christian. Eagles have the ball. Trailing 10-5 with just over 15 minutes remaining here in the first half. Reyes Valdez at the point. Guarded by Lee. Linhard sets a high screen. Reyes Valdez goes left. Lobs it into Linhard. Guarded by Jalen Brown on the left block. Moving into the paint, a spin move to the basket, overshot the goal. Herrick can't control the rebound. Leonard gets it back from Blackwell and from the left side of the cylinder scores to make it 10-7. Leonard's got seven points here in the first half. Midwestern State has the ball. Lee brings it to the left side of the floor, fronted by Johnson. Between the circles to Thompson, right side to Herrick, bounce pass to Harris. Fall away jumper from the right elbow is no good. Rebounded by Reyes Valdez of the Eagles. He gets across half court, passing to Palmer on the right side. Johnson in front of the Midwestern bench, throws it to Blackwell between the circles. Blackwell goes left, getting a screen from Palmer. Jump stop in the paint, puts up a shot, no good. Palmer rebounds and scores off the glass, banking it in from the left side of the rim. Adrian Palmer gets his first two points of the game. It's 10-9. Midwestern State has the basketball. Lee. Drives in, throws it out to an open Herrick from the right wing. Herrick misses a three-pointer. High bounce off the heel of the rim. Palmer saves it, gets it to Reyes Valdez. Reyes Valdez gets to half court, then moves to the center circle. Crosses the timeline, side shuffling against Elijah Lee. Comes right to the sideline, then drives toward the basket. Under the basket, picks up the dribble and lobs it out to Johnson. Johnson is guarded by Thompson. Johnson comes right. Now goes back left, maintaining the dribble, behind the back dribble. Starts to drive in. Throws it back to Linhard, who hits a long straightaway three. Linhard with ten points here in the first half. And Oklahoma Christian's on top, leading 12-10. to 10. Midwestern has the ball. Jalen Brown, right of the foul circle. Dribbles once, shoots a foul line jumper. That's good. Jalen Brown has his first two points. We're not at 12-12. 
Oklahoma Christian with the basketball. Johnson at the hash mark on the left sideline. Passes to the left corner for Blackwell. Lob into Linhard, guarded by Brown. Throws it to the foul line, received by Reyes Valdez. It comes out to the right wing. Lob to Palmer on the right block. Palmer backing in, shoots with the left hand, scores, and one for Palmer. He's fouled by DeMonte Harris. Twelve forty-five to play here in the first half. Daniel Mosley has checked into the game for Midwestern State along with Evan McCarthy. Harrison Lee get a breather. So Palmer going to the free throw line. Palmer is their leading scorer with 15.7 points per game. He's a 68% free throw shooter this season. This one's no good, rimmed out, and it's rebounded by Jalen Brown. Midwestern State with the ball. McCarthy gets it to Thompson, who crosses half court on the right side. Left-hand dribble to between the circles, holds it overhead. Eyeing the basket, but he passes right to Herrick. Herrick pivots, bounce pass to the baseline, right side Brown, back out to Thompson. Finds McCarthy on the left side, back to Thompson, long three for Thompson. No good. Rebounded by Mosley, but a foul under the basket is going to give the ball to Oklahoma Christian as Mosley is called for the foul. Mosley picks up his first personal foul. It's the second against Midwestern State. 12-15 to play in the first half. Oklahoma Christian with the ball, leading by two, 14-12. Palmer on the right wing, up top to Linhard. Bounce pass to Palmer on the right block. Palmer pivots. Facing Jalen Brown, Palmer turns his back to the defender, throws it out to Reyes Valdez, back to Palmer, goes up too strong with a shot from the right side. On the weak side, Thompson gets the rebound. Thompson brings it up for Midwestern State. Facing a 2-3 zone, the pass goes to Brown at the foul line, out to the right wing for McCarthy to Thompson. Passes left on the wing to Herrick, back to Thompson at the point. Thompson right on the wing, McCarthy to Thompson, quick pass left to Herrick. Herrick looks inside, goes to Thompson, eight on the shot clock. McCarthy finds Brown on the right elbow. Foul line jumper is partially blocked by Johnson. And coming away with the ball is Palmer for Oklahoma Christian. Palmer into the front court. Up the middle of the floor. Passes right to Johnson. A three-pointer on the way and good. Aubrey Johnson, a 6'2 senior from Mustang, Oklahoma, hits a three-pointer. Midwestern State trailing 17-12 with possession. Herrick from the right side. Feeds a bounce pass to Mosley on the baseline. Back to Herrick for a right corner three. No good. Reyes Valdez will watch it go out of bounds. And it belongs to Oklahoma Christian. They'll make a substitution. Connor Johnson checking into the game. A 5'9 senior guard from Edmond. He'll come in the game after a timeout. 10.58 to bank. Asco, Bishop Realtors, and your greater Texas Ford dealers. Ford, go further. We've got the Hamilton Bryant Halftime Show coming up. Stay with us for that. Oklahoma Christian has the ball following the timeout. They go into Palmer on the right block, defended by Oli Adeli. Palmer pushed off the block. Sends it out between the circles to D.J. Walter, who's come into the game, along with Connor Johnson. Connor Johnson gets it to Aubrey Johnson. A wraparound dribble trying to get around. Thompson runs into Mosley, throws it back to Linhard, but that's a shot clock violation. They took too much time. Midwestern State, after that inspired speech from Justin Leslie, bears down defensively. And now the Mustangs have the ball down by 5, 10-25 to play in the first half. Here's McCarthy on the left side of the floor to Jones, to McCarthy. Back to Jones between the circles to the right wing for Thompson. Feeds it to the right elbow for Mosley. Out to McCarthy on the left wing. Up top for a Trey Jones three-pointer. No good. Caroms left off the inside right rim. McCarthy chased it down in the left corner. Got it to Jones on the left sideline. Jones, a three-pointer from the wing. Line drive, no good. McCarthy rebounds. Pitches to Thompson. His three-pointer around it out, no good. Linhard rebounds and a foul called. Fouls on Evan McCarthy. Comes with 9.55 to play in the first half as we move into the second quarter of this game. Substitution for Oklahoma Christian. York Benjamin is coming in. Benjamin is a 6'8 junior from Tulsa. Aubrey Johnson will put it in play. Connor Johnson will walk it up. McCarthy guards Connor Johnson. 
between the circles to Walter. They go inside to the big fella, Benjamin. He backs in on Mosley but misses the shot. McCarthy rebounds. McCarthy on the run up the right side of the floor with a left-hand dribble. Pass to the right side for Jones to McCarthy. One-hand left-handed pass to Thompson. Finds Mosley on the left elbow. Out to Jones for three. Trey Jones swishes through a three-pointer from the right wing with 9.24 to play in the first. Jones has his first three points of the game, and the Mustangs are down two, trailing 17-15. 9.15 to play in the first half. Eagles have the ball. Aubrey Johnson on the right side. Gets it to Connor Johnson between the rings. To the left wing for Blackwell. To the left of the foul circle, it goes to Benjamin. Benjamin throws it right to Aubrey Johnson. Johnson cut off on the baseline. Finds Benjamin in the middle of the lane. He leans into the defender and has called for an offensive foul. Holding his position outside the restraining arc is Daniel Mosley. Foul number 34, player control foul on York Benjamin. York Benjamin picks up his first personal foul. Second team foul comes with 8.57 to play in the first half. Oklahoma Christian leading 17-15. Trey Jones inbounds to Elijah Lee, who moves the length of the floor, going right to left in front of our radio broadcast position. Lee sets up between the rings, guarded by Connor Johnson. Bounce pass, right of the foul circle, goes to Devontae Harris, throws left to Jones, a three-pointer on the way. Good! Trey Jones with a line drive, three-pointer, has six, and has given Midwestern State a one-point lead, 18-17. Mustangs on a 6-0 run, thanks to Jones and two three-pointers. The Eagles have the ball. This is a Blackwell shot from the left side that's no good. McCarthy gets the weak side rebound and goes on the run for Midwestern State. McCarthy gives it to to Monte Harris. He'll shoot a three. That's wide right, no good. Rebounded by Mosley. He's got the putback off the glass with the left hand. Two points for Mosley. A three-point lead for Midwestern State, up 20-17. to Connor Johnson into the front court. Passes left to D.J. Walter, to the left wing for Blackwell. Blackwell gets to Aubrey Johnson, to Connor Johnson on the right side, defended by McCarthy, Midwestern playing man-to-man defense. Aubrey Johnson receives it on the right wing, left-hand dribble to the top of the arc, to the foul line, throws left, an open Connor Johnson, hits a three-pointer. First three points for Connor Johnson coming off the bench for Oklahoma Christian. He's tied the game at 20 with 7.42 to play in the first half. Midwestern State 20, Oklahoma Christian 20. We can clearly see the scoreboard. It's 20-20, Midwestern State and Oklahoma Christian. Each team has held a five-point lead in the first half, but we're all knotted up. Play resumes with 7.42 to play. Elijah Lee will walk it out of the backcourt. Across the center circle through the state of Texas, down on the floor here at Ligon Coliseum, passes to the right wing for Harris. Harris at the top of the key. Passes right to Jones. Jones with a head fake. One dribble and a pass right to Lee. Lee bounces to Harris. Right of the lane. Goes up strong over Lynn Hart and draws the foul. And Demonte Harris goes to the free throw line for Midwestern State. Harris has had a couple of spectacular performances this season including Thursday night when he had 34 points against Arkansas Fort Smith. The free throw here is no good for Harris. In a game against Central Oklahoma earlier this year, he had 13 of 15 shots, including 8 of 9 from three-point range. But misses two free throws here, and we remain tied at 20. Reyes Valdez coming out of the backcourt, moves diagonally to the left side, shadowed by McCarthy, gets it to Palmer between the circles. Palmer passes to the left wing. And Blackwell drives in, misses the shot. Linhart has the rebound, throws it out to Aubrey Johnson, to Reyes Valdez, the point guard. Back to Johnson, to Linhart, who fires a pass to Blackwell, quickly sends it to the left wing for Reyes Valdez, a jump stop, and then a feed to Linhart. It's an and one for Linhart. He scores with the left hand from the right side of the cylinder, banks it in as he was fouled by Daniel Mosley, who picks up his second personal foul and puts Linhart at the free throw line with an opportunity to complete a three-point play. Linhard is averaging just 6.2 points per game, but he's got 12 first-half points here for Oklahoma Christian. 
He's not been a good free throw shooter this season. And this one's off the front rim. Midwestern State's got the rebound. Elijah Lee moves up the middle of the floor. Passes to the right side for Thompson. 2-3 zone defensively for Oklahoma Christian. 6.37 to play. Jalen Brown driving in. Lost a handle. Loose ball along the left baseline. Picked up by Ola Ayadele. Ayadele sends it out to the left wing for Elijah Lee. Trying to shake Reyes Valdez. Pitches it out to DeMonte Harris. His three-pointer with the shot clock winding down is no good. And Linhart has the rebound. Up the right side comes Reyes Valdez. Back to Linhart. Chest pass to Blackwell on the left side. Between the circles to Aubrey Johnson. Stumbles to the floor. Maintains the dribble. Now picks it up and gets it to Reyes Valdez. The point guard comes to the right side of the floor. Fronted by Elijah Lee. Valdez gets to the foul line. Bounce, bounce pass to Linhart. Can't get a reverse layup to go. Missed wide left. And here comes Midwestern State. DeMonte Harris up to the arc. Between the legs dribble. Bounce pass to Ayadele at the foul line. Drives in with the left hand. Overshoots the goal. Pulled down by Blackwell with 5.40 to play. Oklahoma Christian with the ball leading 22-20. Reyes Valdez runs the offense for Oklahoma Christian. Comes right. Lobs to Palmer on the right block. Defended by Jalen Brown. Into the paint. Goes up and draws contact. Missing the shot wide left. Palmer lands on the seat of his pants. He'll end up at the free throw line shooting two. Midwestern State has not scored in more than two and a half minutes. They're trailing 22-20, and they've put Palmer at the free throw line. Palmer with four points and five rebounds. He also has one assist, a 68% free throw shooter this season, looking to add to a two-point lead for the Eagles. They're up 22-20 with 5.24 to play in the first half. The Palmer free throw spins through the air and rattles through the rim. Palmer has his fifth point, and the lead is three. Another free throw coming for Palmer. Palmer swishes through the second free throw for his sixth point, and the Eagles lead by four, 24-20. They've led by as many as five. Elijah Lee passes to the left wing for Thompson. To Brown at the foul line. Moves in with a left-hand drive. A head fake. A shot. Overshot the goal. Ayadele's got the rebound. Falling down. Loses the handle. Harris has it. Puts up a shot. Can't get the bounce. Palmer knocks it out of bounds. Unable to control the rebound for Oklahoma Christian. Elijah Lee will inbound. Baseline left. Lob it out to Thompson. Thompson reels it in between the circles. Passes to the right wing for Brown. Brown holds it overhead. Two-hand bounce pass received by Lee. Left to Harris. Three-pointer. Good! DeMonte Harris nails the three-pointer. He's got seven points. One of two from beyond the arc here in the first half. 4.40 to play in the first half. Midwestern State trailing by one as a team. Midwestern State is 5 of 15 from three-point range here in the first half. Straight away three for Blackwell. Too hard. And Ola Ayadele goes up and gets the rebound for Midwestern State. Mustangs will set up their offense. Ayadele has it at the foul line. No look pass to his right on the wing. Received by Harris. Bounces it to the corner for Ayadele. Back to Harris up top to Lee. He shoots a bounce pass to Brown. Middle of the lane. Fall away shot off the glass. Too hard. No good. Blackwell rebounds for the Eagles. Gets it to Reyes Valdez. And then a long pass to Linhard who throws it out to the top of the arc. Palmer passes left of the wing, and Aubrey Johnson hits a three-pointer. Johnson now with six points, and that pushes the Eagles' lead back to four. Midwestern State trails Oklahoma Christian 27-23 with 3.45 to play in the first. DeMonte Harris has it on the right wing to Thompson. Back to Harris, three-pointer on the way, no good. Idaly tips it to Lee on the left baseline. He gives it to Jalen Brown, and Brown walked, called for traveling. The shot he put up with the right hand bounced in off the heel of the rim, but it won't count. Traveling turns the ball over to Oklahoma Christian with 3.33 to play in the first half. It's Oklahoma Christian 27. By the Times Record News, Dyna Systems, and First Bank. Oklahoma Christian shooting 38%, including 5 of 8 from three-point range. 
Reyes Valdez will bring it out of the backcourt. Guarded by Elijah Lee. Passes right on the wing for Blackwell. Blackwell to Linhard, top of the arc. Hands off to Aubrey Johnson. One dribble, cross-court pass to Blackwell. Blackwell finds Linhard. One touch pass to Palmer. And one for Palmer. Makes a catch, leaps up, puts it in with the right hand off the glass as he was fouled. DeMonte Harris picks up his second. Daniel Mosley will be summoned back into the game by Justin Leslie. Harris will get a breather with 3.11 to play. Oklahoma Christian leading by six. Palmer's free throw, too hard, no good. Aya Daly rebounds for Midwestern. Mustangs down six with the ball. Lee comes diagonally right to left. Into the front court on the left side. A hard bounce pass to Aya Daly, who receives it at the foul line. Drives in a spin move to get around Lenhard, but he missed the layout. Elijah Lee gets the rebound out to Jones. Left wing jumper is good, and it's worth three points. So Jones now with nine points, all coming from beyond the arc where he's three of five. Midwestern's made just two of their last ten shots, but trail by only three. Blackwell with a ten-footer, no good. Palmer grabbed it out of the air and loses it out of bounds under the goal. It's Midwestern State ball. Evan McCarthy coming back into the game for Midwestern State, replacing Elijah Lee. McCarthy will inbound to Ola Ayadaly, who gives it right back to McCarthy, coming out of the backcourt up the middle of the floor with a left-hand dribble. 2-3 zone for Oklahoma Christian. Ayadaly setting a high screen, and McCarthy hitting a straightaway three. McCarthy's got five rebounds today, hits his first field goal attempt, and ties the game at 29. Reyes Valdez drives in on McCarthy. It's an and one for Reyes Valdez. McCarthy commits the blocking foul. It's his second personal foul, seventh team foul. Reyes Valdez goes to the free throw line. A 5'11 junior from San Antonio Clark. Bounces the ball a couple of times, spins it, bounces it one more time, and then hits the free throw. Reyes Valdez has been a 69% free throw shooter. And a little problem with the shot clock. They'll have to reset it. I think they said it 28 seconds. Thompson will inbound to Evan McCarthy. McCarthy across half court. Faces a 2-3 zone, comes left, draws a double team, gets it to Jones between the rings, right on the wing to Thompson, feeds it into Ida Daly, off the front rim, no good. Aubrey Johnson comes away with it for the Eagles and scoots up the right sideline. Gets it to Linhard, and he quickly passes to Blackwell, to Reyes Valdez. Linhard setting the high screen, Reyes Valdez drives in, circles under the basket, throws it out to Aubrey Johnson, who chases it out of bounds. A turnover for Oklahoma Christian. Comes with a minute 39 to play in the first half. That's five turnovers. Midwestern State with five points off turnovers. Elijah Lee sends a hard pass down low inside to Aya Daly. No look pass out to Lee. Passes left on the wing to Thompson. Back to Lee. Thompson for three. Left wing three pointer good for Darius Thompson. He's got his first three points of the game with a minute 20 to play in the first half. Thompson has tied the game at 32 by hitting a three-pointer from the left wing. And now Oklahoma Christian has possession and a foul called on Darius Thompson. Thompson gets called for a block. And that's going to put Aubrey Johnson at the free throw line. Johnson, a 6'2 senior from Mustang, Oklahoma. Facing the Mustangs here at Ligon Coliseum. Steps to the free throw line and their second leading scorer with 14.8 points per game is an 83% free throw shooter. He makes the first of two. 
as Oklahoma Christian is in the bonus. Second one rattles out. No good. Mosley rebounds. Gets it to Lee. Lee gallops up the left side. Throws to Trey Jones for a left angle three. And Trey Jones has hit another three-pointer. He's got 12 points on four of six shooting. All from three-point range. And the Mustangs have now hit four in a row and lead 35-33. And an offensive foul will give the Mustangs the ball as Aubrey Johnson is called for the foul. Johnson picks up his second, fourth team foul. Midwestern State will inbound at the end of the scores table close to their bench. Inbound into Elijah Lee. Lee across half court. Between the circles, it goes to Thompson. Right side on the wing to Jones. To Thompson. To Iadaly. Back out to Thompson, who drives in. Feeds Iadaly. Blocked by Palmer. Foul called. I think they got Palmer getting Iadaly on the wrist. Palmer is called for the foul. First on Palmer is the 15 foul called against Oklahoma Christian. Puts Iadaly at the free throw line. Iadaly. Sinks the free throw for his first point of the game, pushing the Mustang lead to three. Midwestern State up 36-33. Aya Daly, a 67% free throw shooter, has been averaging better than five points per game. This is this free throw. Oklahoma Christian has it with 30 seconds to play. Reyes Valdez in the left front court. Time winding down here in the first half. Blackwell has it. Top of the center circle. 20 seconds to play in the half. Oklahoma Christian down three. They've led by as many as six. Driving in. Putting up a shot. Blackwell no good. The follow-up no good. And here comes Olaya Daly with eight seconds to play in the half. Feeds Thompson out to Jones. Three-pointer. Good! Trey Jones on fire from three-point range. It's a 7-0 run for Midwestern State to end the half as they hit their last five field goal attempts. Jones with 15 first half points leading all scores as we go to the locker room. Midwestern State shooting 42%. 14 of 33 including 10 of 21 from three point range. Demonte Harris and Trey Jones will be the five on the floor for Midwestern State. Adrian Palmer, Jonathan Reyes Valdez, Aubrey Johnson, Will Linhard and Marcus Blackwell. The starting five on the floor for Oklahoma Christian here to begin the second half. And the Eagles have the ball down by six. Blackwell has it in the right front court. He's guarded by Jones. Linhard setting a screen. Blackwell up the foul line. Bounces to Linhard. Throws it out to Reyes Valdez. Whips it left to Aubrey Johnson. Comes back to Reyes Valdez, lobs it to Johnson, right front court, three on the shot clock. Palmer for three, no good. High bounce off the heel of the rim, rebounded by Lee. Lee strides across half court, passes left to Demonte Harris, his three pointer, no good. The tip by I Daly, no good. Linhard rebounds for Oklahoma Christian, gets it to Reyes Valdez. He skips across the timeline, comes left, gets it to Linhard between the rings, left hand dribble, handed off to Blackwell. Blackwell from the top of the key shoots and scores. 39-35. The Midwestern State lead is four as Oklahoma Christian gets the first two points of the second half. Demonte Harris in the paint, spinning around Linhart and scoring. Demonte Harris now with nine points for Midwestern State, which leads 41-35. Just over 18 and a half minutes remaining in the game. Reyes Valdez passes to the right sideline for Blackwell. He's guarded by Thompson. Blackwell up to the baseline on the right side. Throws it to the top of the key for Linhart. Quick pass to Palmer. Left-handed layup is good. Palmer on a pogo stick under the basket. Scores with the left hand off the glass. Lee hands off to Jones on the right wing for Midwestern. Jones splits two defenders and then throws behind. Darius Thompson out of bounds across the left sideline. So Oklahoma Christian will get the ball off the turnover. Fifth turnover of the game for Midwestern State comes with 18.09 to play here in the second half. And Oklahoma Christian with the ball trailing by four, 41-37. Palmer on the left block trying to get around Aya Daly. Gets it out to Reyes Valdez in the right corner. 
to Palmer. Right of the foul circle between the rings. It goes to Blackwell. Right hand dribble. Now goes between the legs. Switching to the left hand. Comes to the left sideline to the top of the key to the foul line. Pass right to Palmer. Palmer, foul line jumper from the right elbow. No good. Getting the rebound is Olaya Daly from Midwestern State. Gets it to Lee. And Lee moves between the circles with a left hand dribble. Slowing things down just a bit for MSU Texas. 17 and a half minutes remaining in the game. Midwestern leads 41-37. Thompson on the left sideline. Kills the dribble. Tightly defended by Aubrey Johnson. Passes to the left corner for Harris who feeds Aya Daly. Throws it out to Jones. Up top to Lee. Left on the wing for Harris. Three-pointer. No good. Too hard. And a foul on the floor called against Oklahoma Christian. Fouls on Linhart. Linhart picks up his second personal. Inbounded on the right baseline by Elijah Lee to Aya Daly. Handed to Lee in the corner. Slings it between the circles to Harris, to Jones on the left wing. Harris started to cut to the basket. The pass from Jones went behind it, but Lee keeps it from going out of bounds in front of the scorer's table. Moves into the lane. Sends a bounce pass to the left baseline. That's taken away by Palmer, who gets to Reyes Valdez. Eagles have it, leading, trailing by four. Midwestern State on top, 41-37. 16-45 to play. Reyes Valdez for three. He hits the three-pointer from the right wing. And Reyes Valdez now with six points. Midwestern State had a six-point lead to start the half. They've been outscored 7-2. Lead now by only one. They go down low to Iadaly, blocked by Linhard. Out of bounds off Iadaly under the basket. And it belongs to Oklahoma Christian. They got a chance to take the lead on this possession. Evan McCarthy coming into the game along with Jalen Brown as Iadaly and Lee get a breather for Justin Leslie in Midwestern State. Reyes Valdez coming diagonally to the left side of the floor. Across half court, pass to Palmer, quickly to the right wing for Aubrey Johnson. Bounce pass to Linhard. He throws it out to the left wing. Reyes Valdez up to the foul line, into the lane. A floater falls for Reyes Valdez. That gives him eight points, and it gives Oklahoma Christian a 42-41 lead. A 7-0 run for Oklahoma Christian. They've made four of their last five shots. It's been nearly three minutes since Midwestern State last scored. Demonte Harris has it between the circles to the right wing. A Trey Jones three is off the mark. Bounces off the front rim to the left side. Blackwell's got the rebound. He'll bring it up himself. Gets it to Linhard, who passes left on the wing to Aubrey Johnson. Johnson gets a low bounce pass into Palmer. Thrown out to Reyes Valdez. Reyes Valdez moves toward the lane and comes back outside. Throws it into Palmer. Backing into Jalen Brown. Nearly lost the dribble. Reclaimed it. Now loses it. Out of bounds under the goal. They're going to say it's Oklahoma Christian ball with eight seconds on the shot clock. 15-25 to play in the game. Timeout on the floor. The Eagles have to you in part by Bud Light, ASCO, and the MSU Alumni Association. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Blackwell inbounding baseline right to the corner for Aubrey Johnson. To Blackwell posting up on the right block. Working his way around, Trey Jones missed the shot. Jones has the rebound for Midwestern. Gets it to Thompson. Thompson brings it up for the Mustangs. Hands off to Harris. Harris goes left, throws right to Thompson. Left to Jones. Back to Thompson. Right wing McCarthy. Finds Harris. Moving in on Linhard. Puts up a shot and scores off the glass. DeMonte Harris reclaims the lead for Midwestern State. 43-42, 43-42, scoring his 11th point of the game. Oklahoma Christian has the basketball. Linhard hands the ball off to Blackwell, who throws to Aubrey Johnson on the right wing into Palmer. Draws mild contact from Demonte Harris, but it was enough to get the whistle. And Harris is called for his third foul. So Harris creeping into foul trouble here with 14-43 remaining. Midwestern State with a 43-42 lead. Reyes Valdez will inbound baseline right. Inbounded to Aubrey Johnson, and his floater is good from the right of the lane. Nine points now for Johnson, and once again, Oklahoma Christian leads 44-43. That's our seventh lead change. We've had six ties, seven lead changes, and Mustangs have the ball. Down by one. 
Jalen Brown at the top of the arc, up to the foul line, into the lane, through the defense. Feeds Mosley for an easy deuce from the right side of the cylinder. Deuce goes center square for two. 45-44. Reyes Valdez to Linhart up top, hands off. Aubrey Johnson up to the foul line for a jumper, too hard, wide left. Jalen Brown couldn't get the rebound. It's out to Reyes Valdez, rattles in and out, and now Trey Jones claims the board on the left side of the cylinder. He gets it to DeMonte, uh, to uh, Darius Thompson, to McCarthy, to Trey Jones on the right wing. Long three for McCarthy, and he gets the bounce at home. Evan McCarthy with a shooter's roll, scores his sixth point, and Midwestern State's up 48-44. Reyes Valdez sends it over to Palmer on the right side. Palmer comes left, pivots, looking for help, and finds Blackwell behind him in the left front court. Guarded by Jones, cross-court pass right side, goes to Reyes Valdez. Left-hand dribble, defended by McCarthy. Switches to the right hand, drives in, puts up a shot, no good. Rebounded by Mosley, it's punched out of his hand and grabbed by Palmer. Handed to Aubrey Johnson, who gives to Reyes Valdez on the left sideline. Right-hand dribble, moves between the circles. Switches to a left-hand dribble, sidesteps left, fronted by McCarthy. Reyes Valdez goes between the legs. Now right-hand dribble into the foul circle. Gives it up for Linhart. A three-pointer on the way off the front rim. No good. Rebounded by Jalen Brown. Handed to Evan McCarthy. Mustangs have the ball. Leading 48-44. Midwestern State's hit their last three shots. Oklahoma Christian has missed four in a row. Midwestern leads by four. Brown has it on the right elbow. Throws it to the right corner for Thompson. Moves up on the baseline. Maintaining his dribble with Linhart in front of him. Now accelerates and the reverse layup is good. There is Thompson. Drives hard to the basket. Pass Linhart for his fifth point. Pushing the Mustangs lead back to six. 50 to 44. Reyes Valdez has it on the left wing. Guarded by McCarthy. Between the circles to Blackwell. Chest pass right side. Received by Aubrey Johnson. Fronted by Thompson. To the top of the center circle for Reyes Valdez. Back to Johnson. Bounce pass into Palmer. Right of the lane. Throws it out to the left wing. Received by Reyes Valdez who lobs to Linhard. Backing in on the left block. Back out to Reyes Valdez. Misses a three-pointer. Brown rebounds for Midwestern. Gives it to Thompson. Midwestern out rebounding Oklahoma Christian. 29-27. Right corner three for Trey Jones is around and out. No good. Kissed off the glass and Palmer grabbed the rebound. Palmer to the top of the arc. Hands off to Reyes Valdez. Passes right on the wing to Johnson. Johnson to the baseline. Throws it out to the top of the key. Blackwell to Reyes Valdez on the left wing. Posting up on the left block is Linhard. He finds Reyes Valdez driving to the basket. He scores. Ten points for Reyes Valdez. The lead is four for Midwestern. Mustangs lead 50 to 46. Thompson through the center circle. Leaves it for McCarthy. Passes to Thompson on the right wing. Overhead pass inside to Mosley for two. Mosley from under the basket scores his sixth point, making it 52-46 Midwestern State. Oklahoma Christian with the ball. Palmer from the top of the arc bounces to Linhard. Linhard backing in from the right side of the lane. Traveled, turning it over to Midwestern State. That's seven turnovers now for Oklahoma Christian. And Midwestern State will have the ball leading 52-46, to 46, having made five of their last six shots when Midwestern both teams have led by as many as six points. We've had five ties and eight lead changes this afternoon. Mustangs have the ball with 10.35 to play. Lee between the circles. Passes right on the wing to Jones. Gives to Derek Herrick. Back to Jones. A three-pointer on the way. Lines it off the heel of the rim. Lee rebounds on the left side of the cylinder. Pitches out to Herrick. Herrick with a chest pass to Lee at the top of the center circle. Right on the wing to Jones. Back to Lee. One hand left hand pass to Herrick. To Lee. Quick pass to Brown inside the foul line. Driving in. And they'll call traveling. And Palmer inadvertently... Got hit in the face by Jalen Brown. Palmer slow coming to his feet. Surrounded by teammates. Now being helped up by Reyes Valdez and Blackwell. Apparently he's going to be okay, but still seems to be a little bit shaken up. Kendra Talley will check on him. 
Doesn't appear to be any blood. The officials are checking on him. Oklahoma Christian has the ball, trailing 52-46 with 10-15 to play. Palmer stays in the game. Reyes Valdez comes out of the backcourt, defended by Elijah Lee. He'll deliver the pass to D.J. Walter, who's checked into the game. Oklahoma Christian hasn't gotten much from their bench today. Reyes Valdez driving in, and there's a moving screen called against Walter, who just came into the game. The Midwestern State bench has outscored the Oklahoma Christian bench 14-3, to and Walter coming off the bench here for Oklahoma Christian picks up a quick foul. Second team foul, his first personal. Midwestern with the ball. Jones hands to Herrick in the left front court. Herrick comes right, stops between the rings, passes left on the wing to Lee. Lee trying to force a pass to Jones, but it's deflected out of bounds by the Eagles defender. Midwestern will inbound between the hash mark and the baseline on the left side. Opposite the Midwestern bench, Jones inbounds to Harris. Harris hands to Lee. Lee weaves through the defense. Lost the handle, and it is picked up by Aubrey Johnson. Oklahoma Christian gets the steal. Chance to cut into a six-point deficit. Aubrey Johnson guarded by Herrick. High on the left wing, thrown into Palmer. Backing in from the left block, defended by Jalen Brown. Palmer goes up and scores with the right hand. Nice move by Palmer to get around the defense of Jalen Brown. He scores his 12th point. The lead is cut to four for Midwestern. Lee at the point, passes left on the wing to Herrick. Herrick defended by Aubrey Johnson. It's a zone defense for Oklahoma Christian, 2-3 zone. Bounce pass to Brown at the foul line. Out to Jones for three. This one bounces off the front rim, no good. Walter rebounds for Oklahoma Christian. Ahead to Reyes Valdez. To Walter, nearly lost it, but reclaims it. Gets it to Blackwell between the circles to Johnson, and Trey Jones reaches in and draws the foul. Linhardt's ready to come back into the game for Oklahoma Christian, and he'll replace Blackwell. Linhard, a 6'8 senior out of Oklahoma City, and Blackwell, a 6'5 senior from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Aubrey Johnson inbounds at the end of the scorer's table near the Oklahoma Christian bench. Inbounded to Reyes Valdez, throws it right, received by Walter, defended by Herrick. Linhardt sets the screen. The three-pointer on the way rolls over the flange to the left side. Grabbed by Elijah Lee. He pushes it ahead with a pass to Thompson. Thompson moves up to the lip of the lane on the right side, throws it out for a three-pointer. Hit by Elijah Lee. Lee with nine points on three or four shooting from beyond the arc. He's also got five rebounds and five assists to go with those nine points. And Midwestern State has a 55-48 lead. Seven points is their largest advantage in this game. Reyes Valdez to Linhardt at the top of the key. Left-hand dribble into the paint. Throws it out to the left wing for an Aubrey Johnson three, and he cans it. Aubrey Johnson hits a three-pointer with 7.58 to play, and a quick timeout is taken by Kendra Talley. Getting an assist today from Lisa Thames. Midwestern State with the basketball. Elijah Lee strides across half court. Picked up by Reyes Valdez. 2-3 zone defense for Oklahoma Christian. They've stayed in this zone throughout the game. Lee on the right wing. Cross-court pass. Goes to Thompson. To Lee. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Caroms off the inside left rim right. And it's retrieved by Linhard, who gets it to Reyes Valdez. To Linhard. Passes left to Johnson. Aubrey Johnson. Holds it overhead. Puts it on the floor. He's being tightly defended. Gets the pass to Palmer. Palmer moving in, draws a double team, feeds Linhardt for a two hand stuff. Fifty five fifty three, Linhardt now with fourteen points. It's a two point lead for Midwestern State, and the Mustangs have possession. A long three is good for Darius Thompson. Thompson with an NBA three straight away pushes the lead back to five, and that gives Thompson eight points. 58-53 Mustangs. Eagles with the ball. From the right side, Aubrey Johnson misses a three. And Derek Herrick pulls down the rebound, gets it to Elijah Lee. Ahead up the sideline, it goes to Thompson. Thompson bounces it to Harris. He feeds it down low. Aya Daly gives it back to Harris, who throws a foul, driving to the basket. And Demonte Harris will be shooting two 
with 6.36 to play in the game. And Midwestern leading 58-53. Timeout on the floor. 6.36 to play here. As we move into the latter stages, where it's Oklahoma Christian outscoring Midwestern State in the paint 24 to 14, but the Mustangs have 18 fast break points compared to just 10 for the Eagles. DeMonte Harris misses the free throw, hitting the front rim. Today's broadcast brought to you in part by Union Square Credit Union, Raising Canes, Hamilton Bryant, and Planet Fitness. Harris with 11 points, make it 12 as he nets the second free throw. Rare to see him miss his first three free throw attempts today. He's now one of four at the foul line. And Midwestern leads by six again, up 59-53. Oklahoma Christian with the basketball. Linhardt has it left to the foul circle. Out to Walter on the left side, into Palmer on the left block. Twisting around Aya Daly. Palmer goes up, draws a foul. Aya Daly saying, hey, what about the rule of verticality? I just had my hands up, but they called the foul on Aya Daly. That puts Palmer at the free throw line. Palmer has 12 points on 5 of 10 shooting today. He's 2 of 4 at the free throw line. Palmer, a 6'6 senior from Oklahoma City, came in as their leading scorer with nearly 16 points a game, a 68% free throw shooter, and this free throw is good. That gives him 13 this afternoon. And it cuts the Midwestern State lead to five. Another free throw coming up for Palmer. Palmer. Couple of bounces, bends the knees, arcs the shot up and in. His 14th point makes it 59-55. Midwestern by four with the ball as Lee crosses half court. Sets up at the top of the center circle, passes right to Thompson, overhead pass Fired in to Harris on the right block. Trying to shoot over Linhardt, who blocks the shot. Palmer saves it to Linhardt under the basket. He gets it to Reyes Valdez. Valdez strides up the right sideline. Pass to Linhardt between the circles. Left to Walter. Walter to Linhardt at the foul line. He drives in, lost the handle, kicked it out of bounds. It's Midwestern State ball. It went off his right leg. Harris inbounds to Lee, and Lee runs across half court, right of the center circle. Stops shy of the arc, and then passes to Thompson on his right. Thompson, palming the ball in his right hand, now dribbles with the left. Thought about the shot, gives it to Harris. Harris will pull the trigger, and nail a three-pointer. He hits the bullseye with 5.30 to play in the second, and he gives Midwestern State a seven-point lead, up 62-55. Oklahoma Christian crosses half court with 5.20 to play in the in the ball game. They trail by seven. Walter for three from the left angle. It's no good off the right rim. Linhardt bats it up in the air, controls the rebound out to Reyes Valdez. He drives in the lane, throws it out to Palmer. Palmer hands off to Reyes Valdez. Valdez, a 5'11 junior from San Antonio, moves toward the left sideline. Gets a screen from Palmer. Delivers the bounce pass to Palmer on the left block. Cork screws around Aya Daly but missed the shot. Linhardt got the rebound, hit the underside of the rim, rebounded again, and got the put back. And Linhardt, now with 16 points today for Oklahoma Christian, which is trailing Midwestern State 62-57. 4.38 to play as Lee sets up the offense for Midwestern State. Shot clock issue, I believe, is stop play. Yeah, they're going to see if they can get the shot clock set. And let's see how much time they end up putting on the clock. Shot clock right now in capable hands with Trey Reed, the assistant athletic director and sports information director, working the controls. And now 26. Showing on the shot clock with 4.35 to play. Midwestern inbounds, leading 62-57. Thompson inbounds to Lee. Reyes Valdez guarding Lee. Pass into the paint. A fallaway shot from the foul line is no good for DeMonte Harris. Ida Daly rebounds, gets it out to Thompson, but Ida Daly was fouled on the baseline before delivering the pass. 
And the foul is called on Reyes Valdez. The 5'11 junior commits the foul against the 6'6 senior Olai Adele. Lee will inbound baseline right. The inbounds pass goes to Harris. He delivers a bounce pass to Thompson. Sent to the left side for Herrick. Herrick with a right-hand dribble. Passes right to Thompson in the forecourt. To the right elbow for Harris. His foul line jumper on the way. Good. Demonte Harris hits the shot for his 17th point. And once again, the Mustangs' lead swells to seven points. Oklahoma Christian with the basketball. They trail 64-57. Linhart has it left to the foul circle to Walter left sideline. Around the horn it goes to Reyes Valdez who drives in on Lee. Lee makes contact. And Reyes Valdez earns a trip to the free throw line. I've been remiss in not mentioning that Raymond Tate, Moses Owens, and Thomas Northcutt are our officials today. 3.46 to... Three forty-six remaining. Midwestern State leads 64-57. The Mustangs shooting 45%, 24 of 53, and they've got 16 assists on those 24 made field goals. Oklahoma Christian shooting 41%. They've got 14 assists on 22 made field goals. Play resumes with Reyes Valdez at the free throw line for Oklahoma Christian as they try to cut into a seven-point deficit with 346 remaining. The free throw is no good for Reyes Valdez. The 5'11 junior came into the game averaging just over 7.5 points. A 69% free throw shooter. Lines this one, and it's a rounded out. No good. Rebounded by Aya Daly, who gives to Lee. 340 to play when Lee crosses half court on the left side. Delivers a pass right to Thompson. Fronted by Aubrey Johnson. Screen set by Aya Daly. Thompson flips it out on the right wing. Received by Harris. Back to Thompson. To Harris. A three-pointer on the way. Had it online, couldn't get the bounce. Linhard grabs the rebound, gets the outlet pass up the right side. Linhard gets it back from Reyes Valdez, left to Aubrey Johnson, to Linhard, into Palmer. Palmer over Aya Daly scores. 16 points for Palmer. The lead is five for Midwestern, three minutes to play. Mustangs have the ball. Left wing three-pointer. Harris can't get it to go. It rolls off the rim into the hands of Linhard on the right side of the cylinder. Ahead to Reyes Valdez. Reyes Valdez into the front court on the right sideline. Defended by Lee. Pivoting, looking. Bounce pass delivered to the corner for Palmer. Out to Walter between the circles. To the left side for Johnson. Johnson bent at the waist. Holds the ball down low. Now moves inside the arc, steps back out toward the sideline, bounces it to Linhard. Five seconds on the shot clock. Johnson just holding the ball in front of the bench. Drives in now, scores with a finger roll off the glass. Just before the shot clock expired, an open lane to the basket. And Johnson makes it a three-point game, 64-61. Lee drives in from the left wing. Traveled. Turning it over to Oklahoma Christian with 2.06 to play. The Eagles could tie on this trip. They've made their last three field goals. Midwestern State has not scored in more than two minutes. The Eagles are shooting 43%, including 7 of 16 from three-point range. And Johnson's got it high on the left wing. Bounces it left to the foul circle to Linhard. He sends it right to Reyes Valdez, defended by Lee. Lobs it into Palmer. Palmer, right of the lane, pivoting, looking. Puts it on the floor once and fouled. I believe Jalen Brown is the guilty party here. It is Brown who's called for the foul. His first, team's fifth. Comes with a minute 45 to play. 20 on the shot clock. Inbounded baseline right. Johnson inbounds the corner to Blackwell to Reyes Valdez on the right wing. Left-hand dribble. Lob for Palmer. Intercepted by Jalen Brown. Loops the pass across the timeline to Lee. Lee gets to the hash mark and then circles back toward half court. A minute 30 to play. Midwestern leads by three with the ball. 20 on the shot clock. Lee gives to Thompson. Defended by Johnson. Thompson 
holding the ball. Dribbles with the left hand, sidestepping to his left, passes to Harris, back to Thompson. Thompson to Harris, three-pointer on the way. That one's good. DeMonte Harris with a critical three-pointer. Now has 20 points on 8 of 17 shooting, 3 of 8 from three-point range. And the Mustangs lead by 6, up 67-61 on the precipice of a three-game winning streak. Into Palmer. Palmer inside Brown, fouled from behind by Jalen Brown. Going to the basket. Palmer earns a trip to the free throw line. Jalen Brown picks up his second personal foul. Sixth team foul. Adrian Palmer with 16 points today. That's his season average. He's also got seven rebounds and three assists. The free throw is nothing but net for Palmer, who's now five of seven at the line. Palmer with another free throw coming up. Got a chance to make it a four-point game, and he does, 67-63. Midwestern will have the basketball following a timeout. Timeout taken by Kendra Talley, the head coach at Oklahoma Christian. St. Edwards is leading at Tarleton with six and a half minutes to play, 78-61. West Texas, the Mustangs' next opponent, whipping A&M Commerce 74-53 with six and a half minutes to play. Eastern has defeated UT Tyler 81-46. Western leads Permian Basin 32-26. Some of the other scores around the LSC. Midwestern coming out of the backcourt, leaves fouled right at the timeline on the right side. Fouls on Aubrey Johnson. Johnson picks up his third. 49 seconds to play. Inbounding it is Darius Thompson. Thompson gets it to Lee. Lee coming out of the backcourt, fouled again. This time it's Jonathan Reyes Valdez. It'll be inbounded by Thompson. That's just the sixth team foul against Oklahoma Christian. Second personal on Reyes Valdez. Thompson will inbound to Harris. Pitch back to Thompson. Double team. Thompson's foul. That's Reyes Valdez. Third on Reyes Valdez, and now Midwestern State will go to the foul line. It's up to Midwestern State to make these free throws. There is Thompson, one of the seniors honored today. Second leading scorer on the team with more than 14 points a game, an 80% free throw shooter. And he calmly sinks the free throw. That's his ninth point of this game. 68-63, 68-63, Midwestern with the lead. It's only the eighth free throw of the game coming up for the Mustangs, and it bounces out no good. Linhard rebounds for Oklahoma Christian. Eagles have the ball down by five. Reyes Valdez races up the right side, hands to Johnson. His three-pointer on the way wide left, no good. Rebounded by Jalen Brown, immediately fouled under the basket. So Jalen Brown will walk the length of the floor after being fouled by Dadrian Palmer. Brown will be at the free throw line for Midwestern. If the Mustangs hit their free throws, they should be able to come out here with a victory today. And right now, it's up to Jalen Brown. The team's third leading scorer averages more than eight points a game. 79% free throw shooter, no good, but he chased down his own rebound, saved it from going out of bounds on the right sideline, but right to Linhard, who gets it to Reyes Valdez. He races to the basket, scores, and it's an and one for Reyes Valdez. So Harris is called for his fourth. Comes with 27 seconds to play. Reyes Valdez steps up to the free throw line with a chance to complete a three-point play, and he does. The lead is two for Midwestern State. It's getting hairy here at the end. Mustangs lead by only two. Thompson's fouled in the backcourt. Got to make free throws. 
make the free throws down the stretch, and there's a good chance the Mustangs come away with their third straight win. With the victory, they would improve their home record to 5-8. and eight. They would be 7-19 and 19 overall, 7-13 and 13 in the conference. Thompson spins the ball through the air and through the net. This is an Oklahoma Christian team that's just 3-9 and nine on the road this year. But they've made four of their last five field goals here down the stretch to stay in it. Free throw on the way, good. Nothing but net for Thompson. Thompson's got 11 points. Midwestern State has a four-point lead. Derek Herrick's in the contest now, giving Trey Jones a quick breather. We're down to the final 25 seconds as Reyes Valdez gets across half court. Goes all the way to the basket. Jalen Brown is there. And then from behind, Amante Harris blocks it. Swats it away out of bounds under the basket. Inbounded baseline left by Reyes Valdez. To the corner. Johnson for three from the left side. No good. Rebound is chased down along the left sideline. Knocked out of bounds. Midwestern State has the ball. 13.3 seconds remaining. Trey Jones coming back in for Midwestern State. So there's a timeout. It is Midwestern ball. And Demonte Harris will inbound it on the sideline at the hash mark opposite the Oklahoma Christian bench. It gets inbounded to Lee, and Lee runs up the left sideline. Foul from behind by Palmer. Palmer. Has to take his fourth personal foul. And Lee goes to the free throw line. Lee with a chance to score ten points here if he can make a free throw. He's also got seven rebounds and five assists. The 5'11 senior playing his final home game. Hits the free throw. That gives him ten points. He's been a 75% free throw shooter but was just... 21 of 28 coming into the game today. He makes two big free throws here with 11 seconds remaining. And Midwestern State leads 72-66. Linhart inbounds to Reyes Valdez. He zigzags across half court, driving to the basket. Has a shot blocked by Harris, but Harris may have committed a foul. Got a piece of the Reyes Valdez arm. And that's his fifth. So Harris fouls out of the game. In his final home game here at Ligon Coliseum, Demonte Harris fouls out, gets a standing ovation after scoring 20 points on 8 of 17, shooting 3 of 8 from three-point range. A couple of rebounds and a couple of assists. Demonte Harris goes to the bench. Herrick is in for Midwestern State. Reyes Valdez hits the free throw. Connor Johnson is preparing to check into the game now, but he's going in for the foul shooter, which is Jonathan Reyes Valdez. 5.7 seconds remaining. Free throw on the way, good. Reyes Valdez will come out of the game with 15 points. Number two. Hitting four of six free throws today. He was five of ten from the field. Midwestern inbounds going the length of the floor. Inbound into Elijah Lee. Double teamed and fouled in the backcourt. Getting tangled up with Linhard. Lee will go to the foul line with four seconds remaining. Midwestern leading by four. Will Leonard, that is his third foul of the ball game. It's almost in the lockbox for the Mustangs. Leading by four with four seconds to play. And Lee at the foul line. The free throw in and out. No good. Second free throw coming. Aya Daly comes in for Jalen Brown. Lee went to get five from Brown after the missed free throw, but Brown wasn't paying attention and kind of left Lee stranded. Lee laughs about it and then hits the free throw. That makes it a five-point game. 4.1 seconds remaining. We have a timeout 
So Oklahoma Christian takes a timeout. That is their final three pointers in that win over Texas A&M International when they scored 99 points. They lead 73-68. McCarthy and Mosley coming in for Lee and Aya Daly. So a couple of the seniors coming out of the game, getting an ovation from the crowd here and hugs from head coach Justin Leslie. John Weger is going to come in, and Darius Thompson is another one of the seniors coming out of the game. And Justin Leslie greets him with a big smile and a hug. Now assistant coach Casey Weitzel gives him a hug, as does Nick Powell. The ball game is over. The final shot from Oklahoma Christian is no good. And the Mustangs have prevailed 73-68 on senior day. They defeat Oklahoma Christian, avenging a loss earlier this season in Oklahoma City. That's a game they felt they should have won, just one of the many that got away.